So welcome back again. Uh, you probably wonder what's those uh, clamps and blocks doing here. If I will take them down, this piece of aluminum will actually kind of, you know, go somewhere. Because we removed the molding from this part, which was screwed right here and, and at the bottom. And this is our molding we just cleaned. And this is the piece which actually gonna keep this all together. So it goes like this. It goes like this. It hold, it's gonna hold everything, you know, together on both sides and the bottom mold. Okay? So as you see, we're gonna uh, start cleaning this part with the 320 grit paper, okay? That's 320, okay? And they, that's, that's 320. You can purchase the whole box like this. Uh, this one is 600 because after 320, the 600 goes, and after 600, you know, 800 or uh, 1,000, I will make a decision uh, later which one. So you can purchase this in an automotive uh, uh, shop. Uh, Lowe's and Home Depot has those uh, also. Maybe not in a package of 50, uh, quantity but maybe 20 25 it's a good idea before you gonna start sending to to blow to blow the dust away so that to remember we uh, uh, we uh, shake the edges we uh, so there's a lot of uh, uh, aluminum dust there is the dust from whatever this is the diesel, 320 paper grid. What I'm gonna do, because the uh, uh, diesel cleans uh, all the uh, roads, marks, uh, asphalt, uh, pine. If you can see, there's the asphalt right here, stick to, uh, to, uh, to it. Uh, so I'm gonna spray, not too much, just a little bit. And let's see, How's that come? So this is how it's gonna look after you, you do with the three one. Later we're gonna work with the higher grade paper, the higher, the finer until probably a thousand, but I seen the other guys on YouTube which are using actually 2,000, uh, 2,500. And this camper actually can became, uh, if I'm gonna work with the even 5,000 grid, like a mirror, you can actually uh, use this to, to do your makeup. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna work on this part and uh, and we will see what's gonna happen. So this paper, it's already does not have a, uh, any catch. So it's 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 dull. Uh, so 
basically garbage. Another 320, nice and fresh. Okay, stick in and then sender, uh, ready to go. It's already looking nicer, okay? But like I said, this is only the beginning. softer so the send, sending paper is gonna catch it and remove it. I seen on a YouTube videos the guys uh, they were uh, using uh, WD-40 that's a pretty expensive stuff okay uh, it's, it does the job but for this uh, project probably this bottle will go so that's only maybe uh, 70 cents uh, and I don't have to uh, kind of like save it, I can spray it, whatever. Uh, with WD-40 probably I need maybe five cans, which is going to make this pro uh, project uh, more expensive. Because each can is like uh, $7, maybe 6 so uh, times 5 it's, uh, you know, it's quite a little bit of the dog. So we're going to today clean the edges of the camper. Okay, that's where the molding goes. You can see right now, it's nice and square. So it's gonna fit, the, mold, the aluminum molding is gonna fit perfectly. But all this residue, all this old caulking and adhesive has to be gone. Because we're gonna apply the new one, polymer. Okay, so as I told you before, we're gonna, we're gonna soak it with the diesel. Okay, and then a few times, uh, you know, work all the way around the, around the old edges, okay? Then go on the other side, do the same thing, and repeat it at least two, three times. So this, this old caulking and adhesive will be uh, a little bit softer so you can uh, uh, scrape it with the razor and steel. Okay guys, we got edges clean, as you see, okay, this is the roof, and roof is in a tough shape, ah, you know, it's a little bit dirty, okay, but there is the residue from the pine trees, there is, uh, there is residue from the road, like uh, pieces of the asphalt, you know, whatever, whatever stick to it, okay, and then, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna polish this camper all the way, uh, all the way down, uh, sand it. So uh, basically, as you see, the edges are already uh, scraped, more or less. I, I have to do the, the touch-ups, but I want to, um, I would like to show you um, uh, what I have to, uh, what I'm gonna do. I'm not installing the molding yet. First, I want to, I would like to clean the camper first 
So this molding will be not on the way of the senders. And I'm using two different senders, actually three, but this I'm gonna tell you uh, uh, later about it. So first sender is um, going this way, okay? Back and forth, and I'm doing with this sender only the edges. Why? Because this sender, which is uh, kind of uh, spins around, okay? Not all the way like 360 degrees. It spins, uh, you know, quarter turn, you know, something like, something like that. Will catch this, the paper will catch this edge and will rip off. Those are very expensive uh, uh, sanding papers. They're not cheap, a dollar a piece. So uh, it's a Velcro, okay? You basically, uh, you basically uh, stick to it, okay? And I have a different machines, which I'm gonna show you. So with this sander, I'm doing only the edges because uh, this paper is cheap and it rips off on this edges. And as you see, the center of the paper is not even uh, used because I'm working that way. Just, just you know, just where the molding's gonna be. Uh, and uh, this sander actually leaves the kind of streaks, as you see, back and forth, okay? And I'm using for this, for the first sanding job, I'm using the paper 320, okay? So it says right here, uh, as you can see, it's P32, of course there is the zero, it's, it's just dusty, okay? So I'm using the paper 320 grit, okay? And I don't like this pattern because it's back and forth. I like it, the pattern of the circular uh, sander, which is kind of like fishy, uh, fishy uh, skin uh, looking, but this is not the final product. This is only the first sanding job, which is uh, kind of coarse, removing the um, debris, smoothing up uh, the body of the camper. Um, I'm gonna tell you later about it, uh, uh, what's gonna be later. Let's um, focus on this sender. So edges, back and forth, the roof all the way, all the way down, all the way down to the bottom both sides, okay? And then, we're gonna start working with this sender. It's very easy. And just I would like to tell you something. Don't, don't work on a one spot too long, okay? You wanna, you wanna make those moves, okay? kind of going back and forth, back and forth. You can go this way uh, later and always check the grit on it. If it's smooth, it means the paper is gone. You gotta go for the, uh, for the, new, uh, for, uh, for the new paper. And um, basically, to be honest with you, for this camper, um, as you see, it's not a very small one, okay? It's a, it's a XL version. I will probably need for the first sanding job with the 320 grit, probably 10, maybe a dozen uh, um, uh, papers. And, and tomorrow, I'm gonna tell you what's next after that. So this part, the hatch, the hatch, uh, lights, okay. The hatch is already um, uh, scafted. Send it with the, with the 320 grit. 
Okay, it's kind of looking rough, but that's what we want. Actually, aluminum is the very, very pleased metal to work on it, okay? It's, it's not like stainless steel that you have to be really careful. Aluminum is just the, just the best for the amateur, amateur to work on it.